All right, boys and girls, what's going on? So I want to make this portion of the video really quick and upfront. Do I care about the whole Manjaro free office part? You know, the, the whole debacle around that. I'm a Manjaro user, so I'm going to keep it short. Manjaro, like every other project, your communication about this change was 100% garbage pile dog shit. On you. But your reaction to the feedback you were given, 100% awesome. Difference between you and a lot of projects. So thank you for making an office selection tool available to users during install. However, for me, what do I think of this whole debacle? I don't fucking care. Because really what it boils down to is you have the two camps. You have proprietary bad and the I don't care pragmatic crap. The we should only use Libre and free and open source software. And then you have the, you know, I want the best tool for the job. Don't care if it's open source or proprietary. Me, I'm not going to choose either Office Suite because personally for me, I prefer WPS Office because I like my interfaces to look like something from at least 2000. Uh, but really, at the end of the day, I'm always going to be a pragmatist. I have preferences for open source. Yes. So this whole debacle around this brought up uh, the nagging issue, though, of these two camps, pragmatists, those on the philosophy end of things. Why do the pragmatists let the ph uh, philosophical jackasses speak way louder than everybody else? To me, the the philosoph like the the hard philosophical people, remind me of that dude that gets thrown in front of the news after a like after a trailer park gets destroyed by a tornado, and it's usually like the dumbest motherfucker that they put on camera. And you're like, and you want to know where the term trailer trash comes from, and it's like right there. <laughs> That's who those people remind me of. The the hard leaning FOSS people. Floss. Whatever. Because really what they remind me of is that that dumbass that they talk and they talk and they're like this is the person they let represent, you know, this community. And it's like why? Fucking why? Because you know, we, we talk about, oh, Linux is a great, like GNU Linux is a great place for, for companies and all the other stuff. And the one thing we do is we continuously fucking drag companies away because we let these jackasses speak for us. How about the pragmatists stop letting the ones that have two assholes, one on their ass and one attached to their face because... You know, they need that second orifice on their face to, you know, filter out the amount of shit from their ass because the one on the butt isn't enough. Um, like, like, really, at the end of the day, the, these proprietary companies that come into open source to provide Linux, you know, uh, programs, free office, WPS, uh, Steam, take your pick. There, there's a bunch. Reaper. Um, I, can, I can think of a half dozen different proprietary apps off the top of my head. But we rag constantly on these companies. Well, why would you open that? And these are the, uh, like, they're trying to support a platform you love. You like. But we rag on from being proprietary. Oh, they don't contribute anything. I can name one company that is solely proprietary and they have contributed more to Linux in the six and a half years than a lot of companies have in the entirety of their time in open source. Who's that company? Valve. They got involved 
six and a half years ago. And the one thing they've done is they have made the user space far better. They are doing kernel tweaks now, which is the newest thing. They are now they have worked on Vulkan, Steam, or Steam Play, Proton, whatever you want to call it. Wine. Those contributions from Steam Play and Proton go back to Wine. They support development of KWIN. That entire graphics stack has been improved. The development with AMD, um, the development because of Valve's clout with gaming that forced NVIDIA and AMD to up their game. We have halfway decently good fucking drivers now. But they still provide a proprietary service. You can be a good citizen in open source to floss or floss software and still have a proprietary service. The 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 hard leaning foss floss zealot jackasses aren't gonna like it. And here here's the irony of this though. I'll call them out on this. And down below in the comments, one of the first comments you'll see is someone installing the virtues of Phosphoros, GNU slash Linux, or GNU plus Linux only. And they are a hypocrite. Because what are they using? A proprietary service. Phosphoros zealots. I gave you too little credit on the amount of assholes you need. You might speak a lot of shit. You also have 10 more assholes attached to your hands because you type a lot of shit. Because at the end of the day, to me, you are nothing but a bunch of fucking hypocrites. You talk freedom. You talk choice. You talk all this other stuff. But if somebody doesn't agree with any of it, they're wrong. In the most zealot way possible. I, <laughs> it, it boggles my mind. It really does. You know, you guys love talking freedoms and choice and all the other crap that you spew out of your fucking fingertips in your mouth. But you are the first to say and be willing to take away the freedom of choice from people. Because, hey, maybe guess what? Maybe the alternative that you're pushing just not might not work for that person. It might be this weird thing called shitty for them, not the right tool. The only tool in that current sentiment would be you for taking away their options of freedom to choose. To which to me says a lot about you. And do know Do know, there's one thing y'all didn't choose, and that's your Messiah. Because what he represents and the organization that he's represented is self-appointed. So, your Messiah ain't a fucking God. Because I'll be goddamned if he is. Because, whew, whew. Makes Buddha look good. Um, you're, uh, he's no God. So stop acting like he is one. 